April 27, 1230 on a Sunday, 2014. Still playing with my uh, solar project. Unfortunately, I um, burnt up my um, 20 amp charge controller, which is this one burned up last week because of uh, pulling too much amperage. Anyway, I pulled it apart. I'm gonna fix it one day. But for now, I went ahead and bought, bought the um, Intronix MPPT charge controller. It's a 75 amp. And uh, so far, everything is working out great. <coughs> 560 watts of um, solar power going through it and um, uh, I'm still in a test phase uh, so this is what's coming out the solar panel right now which is on the um, Intronix charge controller comes down here and that's what's going on on it right now Batteries at full. It's pretty nice. I like it. It's not even getting warm. So I have it again charging up my uh, car batteries. I know they say don't use car batteries in a uh, solar system, but I'm using these anyway. They're free. I got them free. Uh, they're a bit old production date on this one it says um twin uh 12 11 this one is uh 08 11 10 um 8 13 11 and 010 so i'm using this right now to um charge my car batteries and I presently have this on it charging my um, battery for my drill what I intend to do with this project here is to actually uh, run low voltage lighting these are 10 watt LED the whole upstairs of the house inside is wired for low voltage so that's my whole intention I'm gonna have low voltage lighting going to all the rooms upstairs. And I went ahead and changed out these switch I have here. These are rated at 300 amps, so I got four. This one is not in use right now. On this one, I got 1200 watts. I'm gonna split this and put six here and six here. Right now, I have the hopper freight in this, which I it's, it's, it's off right now. I'm gonna remove it from the roof and then split this 1200 to six year, six year. So that's what's going on. Uh, so right now I'm grid tying <coughs> on the house right now uh, from one set of panel, 522 right here. From the other set of panel, 537 right now. This I shut this down for the time being because I'm just using the wires off it right now. It's unplugged. Here it is. Not using it. Just use that, you know, jack onto the back of that right now to go into the yeah, Intronix charge controller. Uh, but Intronix uh, is pretty nice. Uh, cool features. I like it. I paid two hundred and four dollars with uh, shipping, and uh, you got carries dip switch on the side of it. So you could change whatever um, 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 different voltage setting you need. Um, and you could toggle through here. Okay, the setting is going on. The um, only 
drawback about this is the uh, auxiliary output. The auxiliary output is rated as 20, 25 amp. Can be set up for lighting or um, pump, um, water pump. However, it's always on. So right now I have my light on it. I'm doing a test run with this um, 10 watt LED. And if I hook it up into it, um, come morning, daylight, it is still on. So if you don't put a switch between it and remember to turn it off or a photo cell, it will always stay on. However, and the, the uh, Chinese MPPT, one that I burnt up, that one will automatically shut off the um, auxiliary output when daytime comes around at night time, it automatically comes on. That feature I like. But anyway, I, I, I have my way around it already. All I have to do is wire a photo cell into um, this auxiliary out to control this output. So, you know, but apart from that, it's 75 amp and uh, it's little, pretty small and beefy and um, cool and wicked features just as the same as uh, Midnight Star, TriStar Monster and all those uh, more expensive unit uh, but it's pretty nice I like it small compact and bulky so right now from the solar I have um, 8 gauge wire going in uh, I mean sorry 8 gauge wire coming out to the batteries and uh, this is um, I think it's 12 gauge landscaping wire I'm just you know temporarily using right now going into this however I'll be using the same 8 gauge wire into this after I put everything all together so yeah but um, I like it you know I did not want to spend that heavy money heavy big price on you know the other products uh, like the uh, midnight and stuff and so on but the, this is fine I didn't see much review on this uh, Entronics, but uh, works great. Blue light represent solar power coming in. Auxiliary light is on because this power. <coughs> Sorry to the auxiliary output and battery. When they are the battery is full, it's gonna be a solid green. When it's near full, it's gonna flash. You know, and uh, I've been playing with now for from about last from Wednesday. I burnt up the first one on Sunday. I put an order in for this one. I got it by Wednesday and it's been up and running from Wednesday. And um bodies are completely full right now. Um amp hour. Um I think I got six car batteries and each one of these car batteries are um Mm, let me see between 100 and 10 amp hour to um, 70 amp hour amp hour um, 70 um, amp hour 90 amp hour I didn't see it in that one amp hour 110 90 Didn't see it in that one. Well, I think they're 110 amp hour on these. But that's what's that's what's going on. So, but anyway, I'm still playing around with my little project here. And like I said, maybe at some point down the road, I'll upgrade my batteries to um six volt golf cart. But for now, I'm not ready. I want to finish run the um. The, I'm gonna. Run a second, can, third can do it line in to carry yeah, the power now going to the upstairs. All the rooms are already wired straight into the attic. So it's just waiting now for the um, 12 volts to go up and um, go into the attic. <laughs> so, you know, but I'm going to have um, 12 volt low voltage for all the rooms upstairs. And this, this is what I'm using but with a shading over it okay youtube uh, but again this is to really talk about the um, entronics and batteries are full so 
for the photo absorber. And so let's see. Uh, Absorbing voltage has been absorbing for the past 19 minutes. Equalization. And PPT. Still haven't figured out this yet. Same thing here. And uh, but I'm still playing around with it. Okay, so uh, this topic is really based on my Intronic charge controller. It says made in the USA. Pretty small and beefy unit. Money well spent. Talk to you later, YouTube.